So we're going to do a match move here, and we'll just output that over here to our uh, muzzle flash that we want to have. I'm going to drop that in in a second, but if we take this now and we merge this back on top of our footage, uh, we could just see where this muzzle flash is going. So I'm just going to grab this and move this guy over. Let's disable that. I'm going to find the point in where we could put this uh, pin right here. And then now I'm just going to change the center of this to live in that area. So that'll be 1920 by 582, I think. What you want to do is you want to look at the original footage uh, right here and then figure out what that point is. And you can see that number on the bottom of your uh, screen here. If I left uh, control click, it'll actually put a pin there. So that way I don't have to keep going back over to it. But now that we have that, uh, let's go ahead and add this into our shot. This is a very big muzzle flash so far. We're not going to want it to be this large. If you roughly line that up, you can get your muzzle flash to be the correct size. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And then we're just going to line that up with the barrel here. A few things I want to select here on this video footage is that before the frame one happens, we want it to be black. And then before the last frame, we want it to be black as well. And now we'll notice that the muzzle flash kind of just sits there in that area of the screen and does not move with everything. So we're going to now take this match move that we have and drop that in. And with our camera track, after we have all of 